I'm your host, Sean McKenzie, and welcome back to my channel on data analytics and data transformation. This week, we're going to talk about joins. In fact, we're going to talk about the two kinds of joins that you will use for probably 90% of your work with SQL and in queries and many different kinds of tools, including Power BI and Microsoft Access and others. And we're also going to talk about the mismatch query, which is a technique that you will use to compare lists and to find out uh, what items are in one list but not another list and vice versa. And that's going to be very helpful for you in the future. Let's get to it. Okay, so to start this lesson, I'll point out that we, we are using the Northwind database and the Northwind Analytics linked database that we created in last week's video. So please go ahead and take a look at that one if you would like to use the same files uh, that we are using here. As you can see, we have a database with uh, some customers, some products, and some other things in there. And we're going to create a table today and we're going to talk about uh, inner joins and left joins. And so um, we're going to start with our inner join example. And so what we're going to do is we'll grab our customers table. And that's a table that has only customer information in it, um, no order information. So if we need orders, we're going to have to grab that table as well. And if I expand that table, you can see that there's the order information. Um, it doesn't have the order items on it, that which is in another table, um, but it does have the, the order sort of master record, which has the shipper and everything on it and where it's going to. And so um, what we're going to do here is we're going to take a look at the customer ID and we're going to join it uh, on the orders table in what we call the foreign key. And um, that is by uh, by dragging and dropping the ID onto the foreign ID in the orders table. So you'll notice I deleted the automatically created one, um, which um, is created because this database has some existing relationships that are defined in its design. But we'll, we're going to act as if this did not have that. And so uh, we joined it ourselves by dragging the key onto the foreign key. And the default when we do that, if you right click on the line and you go to properties, you'll see that the, uh, the default is to include only rows where join fields uh, are equal, or you can choose to, to include all records from customers and only those from orders where the fields are equal, or you can uh, include all records from orders and only those records from customers where it's equal. So if we choose number one, that's what's called an inner join. And an inner join will only uh, bring back results uh, where there, there are um, ID numbers available in the orders table. And so we'll grab some fields here. We'll grab company, last name, first name, order date, um, ship address, ship city. We'll grab the shipping name um, just for informational purposes um, because that's what we needed that day and we'll take a look and see what we got. So when we run the query uh, we can see that in every row there is some data and um, if we go back we can we can grab an order ID um, just to show the different rows. So you'll see uh, company A has a couple of orders on a couple of different dates by the same person, Anna uh, Bedex, and, and you can see that every row uh, is filled in because we did an inner join, so we only got customers that had orders. Um, but what we can do is, to do a left join example, we can uh, choose to include all records from customers and only those from orders where there is some data. And so in this case, when we look at our example, when we run the query, you can see that 
uh, company B for Antonio there. Um, he doesn't have any orders. Um, you know, some other people don't have orders. Uh, and those are uh, where you can see that there are blank row, uh, blank uh, column entries uh, for the or for the columns that came from the orders table. So Michael here doesn't have any. Uh, Catherine and Helena don't have any orders. And uh, but where we do have data, you can see that it is filled in, and there is an order number. So that's an example of of how to do a left join and we could do the same by looking at the properties and we could turn that around and we could include only orders only order rows and only show customers where there is where there is data but that in this case would only end up showing us the same as our first query the inner join because this database does not allow um, there to be any orders created unless there's a customer on the order So we'll change our, our join back to an inner join, and that is our example for joins. Those are the two joins that you'll do the most work with um, as you go on in your analytics. In our next uh, section, we're going to reuse the Northwind Analytics database again. And what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to show how to create a mismatch query. And a mismatch query is basically how, um, how you can compare two lists to show um, items that are in one list but not in the other list uh, or vice versa. So what we'll do here is we'll create a very similar uh, query to the one that we uh, created before. And we've got customers, um, some orders. In this case, we're going to grab the order details because we want to know who purchased what. And we'll include the products table uh, because the products table is going to give us our, our uh, description of the product that was ordered uh, on each item. So what we can do in this case is we can, we can see that all of these tables already have existing uh, joins on them. Uh, because of the design of the database, but what we're going to do is we're going to delete those and we're going to treat it as if we're creating our own joins. And we'll go ahead and, uh, and you can see that I've, I've unjoined all the tables, I've uh, deleted all the joins, and we're going to go ahead and create the customer to orders join by dragging the ID onto the customer ID like we did in our previous example. We'll take the order ID and we'll drop that onto the order details um, because that's how that one is joined. And then we'll take the product ID and we'll drag that onto the product ID in the details as well. And so we've created a query that has all inner joins. So this is only going to return um, any results where uh, where there are matching entries in each table. So to, to to take a look at our data, we can go ahead and we can uh, grab the company. We'll grab the order date, um, the order order ID, for example, and we probably want to see the product name. That's important as well, and that'll give us an idea of all of the kinds uh, of things that were. Um, ordered. Now we're going to filter this query and we're going to put in uh, company C down at the bottom and we're going to compare company C's orders to company D's orders. Um, so in our first query what we'll do is we're going to filter that by company C just as I mentioned uh, before and you can see this is a list of all of the orders that company C has and you'll see they've got some clam chowder and some green tea and some gnocchi and curry sauce and um, that's all of the orders that company C has. So we'll go ahead and we'll save that and in this case uh, we'll call it uh, uh, company company C uh, products. 
And what that uh, gives us is any time that we open that query down in the bottom left, um, we'll get our list, nice list of everything that's in company C. Now, to create a comparison, what we can do is uh, we can save that um, query and we can um, click on it and then copy and then paste it and it'll give us an option to uh, copy of company C but we like a name that is similar to our first one so we'll call it company D products and we'll go OK. So now uh, we've got these two queries and if we open our company D products uh, we want to uh, go ahead and change our criteria to company D instead of company C so that in this query we show all of the products that were ordered in company D. And that'll give us a nice list. You can see there's some dried pears, dried apples, some gnocchi, some tea. And you can see that the two lists between, between the two companies are different. Uh, one company ordered some things and one company has been ordering different things. And uh, in this case, we can go ahead and uh, we can create a new query. And this is when uh, things get interesting. So from here, we can make a new query, and instead of dragging a table onto our query, we're going to reuse the queries that we created already, because we, those already have our filtered information in them that we want to compare. So in this case, what, we'll, what we will do is we can drag the product, or pardon me, we can select the, the product ID from both of those companies, and we can drag the ID for product and join those two just as we did in our previous join. And in this case, what we see is we have um, an inner join because we chose number one. So it's only going to show the ones where they are equal. So where company C ordered the same product, company D ordered the same product, that's what we're going to get here because we chose an inner join. And you can see that both of these companies like Noki. So there you go. You got some Northwind Traders Noki, and that's what both companies ordered. Um, and that's useful information. Now we don't really need to, to uh, uh, check off uh, the show button for both of those fields because they both show the same thing. We can uh, remove one and then we can see that our result has a nice list with, with a single column. And we can call, save this and call it uh, sold in company C and company D. So we know that this is our list of products that were sold in both companies. So that's useful information. So in a similar way, we can reuse those two um, queries again. And we can, um, we can drag those onto our, a new query just like we did before. And this is where we're going to use the left join that you learned in the previous example. And we're going to use a technique that is going to allow us to show the ones that are in one list, but not the other list. And so uh, what I'm going to do here is I'll grab the, the product name from both, um, just as we did before. But we're going to change the join. And we're going to say, only show um, the, the records in company C uh, and, and, and show uh, the, only the ones in company D where it matched. So that means we're going to get everything from company C and only the ones from company D that matched. And so you can see here that we have some blank rows when we selected the field from company D. And in order to filter down to the what we want to see, where we want to see uh, only the, we want to see the ones that are in company C, but not company D. Um, we'll put is null into the criteria on the field for company D. And then you can see in this list, uh, there, there are our, you know, um, products for company C. Uh, we don't need to see the second column again, as I mentioned before. And when we run this again, uh, this is our list of products that are sold in company C but 
were never sold in company D. So we'll save that and we'll say sold in company C, but not company D. And that is a mismatch query, um, which is very useful um, to compare two lists and to show what's in one list but not another list. And we'll go ahead at this point and we'll create the reverse of that because our corporate department thinks that that will be useful for sales or something like that. We want to know everything that was sold in company D, but in company C, they're not, you know, they're not ordering. So uh, we'll do the same thing. We'll pull the two queries onto our, onto our query for comparison. We'll join on the product ID again. We'll select the product names. And in this case, uh, we'll choose the join. We'll choose number three, where we want to see only the ones from company D and, and only where company C was equal. And so that will give us uh, another left join another left join and if we run that one we have the same kind of result that we saw before but in this case you can see um, that uh, the blank columns are on the left side now what we'll do here is we'll do the same thing we'll put is null into the product name and we don't need to see that column anymore because it's going to be empty and then if we look at this result we can see a nice list of all the things that are sold in company D, but not in company C. And that is called a mismatch query. And it's actually a technique uh, that's very, very common that people do not know how to do this. And they make all kinds of uh, workarounds in order to do this very simple thing. And this is one of the powers uh, that you will get with data transformation and data analytics is when you learn these kind of techniques. So we can save that query and now we've completed our, our, uh, what we wanted to do for, for uh, this example. We have all of the products that are sold in both companies. We've got all the products that are sold in company C but not company D. And the reverse, all the ones sold in company D but not in company C. And that's it. And thanks for joining me today. The mismatch query is awesome. I use it all the time and it is a real time saver. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I hope that you enjoyed uh, learning about joins. Uh, if you like this video, please uh, hit the like and subscribe buttons below and, and hit the bell as well so that you'll be notified when new videos are added. Also, are there any questions that you have around this topic that we covered today or or in our previous video, uh, please uh, put your questions in the comments below. And uh, if this is the first time uh, that you've ever done a mismatch query, and if you thought it was cool, please put a hoorah in the comments below. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.